So I've actually been seeing a lot of really nice zinc yellow Mustang GTs, which is a good motivation for my Mustang GT project. It's nice to see a few GTs like this because I really don't see many at all. And they were asking pretty good price for these that were listed around the $12,000 range. And this is one of them that looked good. Black bullet wheels, blackout uh, panel between the tail lights, the honeycomb deck lid panel. Uh, tinted windows just looks like a really nice car and that helps me get motivated and excited when mine's done mine will not be as nice as this one but it's cool to see option the same as mine black leather although mine doesn't have the leather seats anymore but this is still pretty cool i'll probably have the mach 1 seats in mine uh, but nice looking gt all around clean engine bay and I think these cars are getting harder to find in this kind of condition. They're getting older and used, especially GTs that were never really kept as collector items like a Mach 1 or a Cobra. And this one here is actually a different car. Someone else had shown that they had one just like it that they had just sold. This one has a Cal hood on it, low miles, and a supercharger. I love the GT hood, so I wish they would have kept it there. It's not a bad looking Cal hood, but I love the GT hood. So this one's supercharged, lower miles, and they were asking a decent price for it too. So it's good to see these cars trying to bring in some good money and uh, being nice examples of zinc yellow Mustang GTs. So very nice interior, very nice looking car all around. So funny story, my son came over with some of his little friends in a plastic toolbox, and I'm not kidding you, their words exactly, my son said, Hey dad, me and my crew are here to work on your Mustang. So in other words, they've realized that the car is making progress, but not as fast as they'd like to see. So they asked if they could help out and work on the car. So I said, yeah, sure. So I thought we could put the fog lights in. That's something I need to have done. So the bumper only has two bolts holding it on. So I removed the bumper and the headlights really quickly. And uh, they were trying to use the wrench on the little grills that are where the fog lights would go. So this was a V6 bumper and you can see it has those little vents where the fog lights would go and they're just little rubber vents. And so I cut those out with a pair of um, aviation snips. And so that was something that I thought we could do. So they were playing with those. They had the little plastic wrench on there and kind of beating around on it. And I had to teach them to be gentle to the car and not to scratch it and stuff. But I just thought that was funny that they were so excited to work on the car and they really wanted to. And so they had their little toolbox and stuff. So I guess they were just in the mood for working on something. So I thought that was something we could do together and something I've been wanting to do. So went through my hardware. This is my freshly organized bin of hardware. It took me six hours to organize all this and I have everything bagged in similar things. And here's a bag of um, J-clips. And so the J-clips, I just hook them onto the little tabs there on the inside of the bumper and then run some bolts through these. Uh, but I noticed that the actual um, original hardware is a little different and I remember it being kind of difficult and on my blue Mach 1 it was hard to get it off uh, so this is just normal hardware there on this side but this is the original hardware over here and you can see the clip goes around the tab on the bumper and so you have it kind of sandwiching that uh, little it sandwiches the light and the bumper together with the clip and so kind of interesting design and those are really small little like star bits but you can put a uh, socket on them and so i went ahead and did that so this side had the original hardware and the other side had a, you know mustang hardware just not what it was supposed to be so that worked out nicely and so with that on now i could put the bumper back on and you can see that everything's just fit in place and my friend's coming to weld the front end everything is bolted up where it needs to be but he's going to come over and weld uh, where the unibody meets where the new pieces are and everything from the new uh, front clip basically and so once that's all done then i can do a little bit more fine tuning with the bumper, the fenders, the hood, everything. But 
everything lined up nicely and uh, I'm very happy about how this is all coming together and it's pretty good and uh, this has just been a really fun project and I have a lot to come so thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you like that the uh, GT has fog lights now oh by the way the tabs of the bumper they go underneath that little flap and then over on this side that's something I see a lot of people doing wrong and you'll notice under the headlights there'll be a gap if it's not done right. So there's the fog lights in the GT. So some people that have car channels will give away the scraps to their cars like this. So I thought I'd do a giveaway. Not. These things are going right in the trash where they belong. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more Mustang content and more of this build.